a small ball of mass m is thrown upward with velocity u from the ground okay so this is ground a small ball its mass is m it is thrown in vertically upward direction with the initial velocity u okay the ball experiences a resistive force m k v square where v is the speed of the ball okay and the k may be the constant value the maximum height attained by the ball is we have to find the maximum height reached by this ball okay so this question is also same as that of the last one we have seen yesterday okay so this ball moves in upward direction to a particular height only after reaching certain height it stops and starts to move in downward direction that maximum height is we are going to find okay so i am applying the newton's second law of motion f equal to m into a the net force acting on the ball is equal to the mass into acceleration okay mass into acceleration of the ball okay now i am replacing the i am writing the what are the force terms the first force acting on the ball is gravity that is minus mg because it is acting in the opposite direction of ball's motion so i am putting negative sign so this force is also a resistive force this should be written with negative sign in front of it so mk v square is equal to m into we can write the acceleration as dv by dt okay now you can cancel the mass on all the sides okay both sides are the mass terms you can cancel and write this equation as minus g kv square equal to dv by dt okay if you check this equation we have the time term in the time variable in the denominator okay if you check the option also there is no time term in the question itself time is not mentioned we have to find the height okay so here the time is not required and we have to find the height so i am going to replace the time variable with displacement variable okay so i am just doing your work here so acceleration you can write that as dv by dt okay i need the displacement variable here not the time variable so i am writing this equation like this and i am multiplying and dividing this with displacement equation displacement parameter ds divided by ds okay now i am going to exchange these denominators you will get dv by ds into ds by dt okay further you can write this as dv by ds so ds by dt is a rate of change of position with respect to time that is nothing but velocity okay so instead of dv by dt you can write dv ds into d okay and just using this equation here i will get minus g minus kv square is equal to b into dv by ds okay instead of dv by dt i have written the b into dv by ds okay now i have to integrate this before integrating so the value that i am going to find is displacement of the ball that is its height okay so i have to keep this term on left side i am taking the remaining turns to the right side so ds equal to b into dv divided by minus g minus k v square okay now you can integrate it on both side and the limit for height is that ball is starting from the ground height value at the ground is zero it moves to the height h before falling down okay and the upper limit is height in case of velocity it is thrown with the initial velocity u after reaching the maximum height its velocity will starts to decrease as it reaches the maximum height its velocity become zero okay so upper limit is zero at the ground its velocity is u at the maximum height its velocity becomes zero okay now we can write the values we can take the negative sign from this to the outside we will get g plus k times v square okay so if this term has 1 by a square plus x square form we can use the tan inverse of x okay and in this case it does not have this value okay and one, one more variable is there so if you see this there is an extra term there so we cannot convert this into tan inverse form okay we cannot get the resultant tan inverse form so we have to convert we have to replace this with the into the dummy variable okay substituting the one more variable i am using that variable i am taking that variable as x okay 
so instead of this entire term on the denominator i am taking the one more variable called x x equal to g plus kv square now i am differentiating this x with respect to b so we will get dx by dv equal to g is constant right differentiation of constant is 0 and k is constant which is in multiplication with 2v so we can keep that as it is differentiation of dv is v square is 2v okay now we have to replace this v dv okay so i want to keep the terms v dv on right side and remaining term on left side so dx equal to k into 2v into dv i need the value of v dv alone so i am taking this k to to the denominator okay dx by k2 equal to v times dv so i am going to use this value in this equation okay these two values in this equation this step so let's write this so integration of ds is s if you substitute the upper limit you will get s times of h integral 0 so on the right hand side i am just replacing the value instead of v dv i can write dx by 2k or k2 dx by 2k okay here in the denominator i have the g plus kv square i am replacing this with x okay now the limit won't change limit remains constant so 1 by 2 is a con 2k is constant we can take that out you will be left with dx by x element is 0 to u so integration of dx by x is ln x okay and this value becomes on the left hand side if you substitute the upper limit upper limit is h and lower limit is 0 so you can keep the h alone okay now minus 1 by 2k minus 1 by 2k integration of 1 by x is ln x or log x you can put the value limit 0 to u before substituting the unit you have to replace the original value of x that we have assumed okay then you will get h equal to minus 1 by 2k and the value of x is g plus kv square limit is from u to 0 okay lower limit is u upper limit is 0 okay so let me write this on some other page this page is too congested from the previous one okay previous step h equal to minus 1 by 2k ln g plus kv square u to 0 limit is u to 0 okay so now we have to replace the upper and lower limit okay minus 1 by 2k remains here i am just substituting the limit value upper limit value so i will get log of g log g plus 0 instead of v i have substituted the 0 0 into anything is 0 this terms becomes 0 okay and i am substituting the lower limit value i will get g plus instead of v square you have to use the u square okay next i am multiplying this negative sign to the terms inside the bracket okay so if i take this negative sign to inside so this will become positive and this term becomes negative so i'm just rearranging i'm writing the first positive term in the front okay g plus k u square minus log g okay now this is in the form of ln a minus ln b we can write it as ln of a by b okay this is in the form of ln a minus ln b you can write this in the form of ln of a by b okay just replace the value 1 by 2k you will get ln of instead of a you have the g plus k u square instead of b you have the g value okay now you can 
this denominator is common for both g and k u square. I am splitting this into two terms. Okay, one by two k. You will get g by g plus k u square by g. Okay, all the remaining terms are same only. I am just dividing this denominator to the uh, to the each term. Okay, I am just separating this denominator to the each term. Okay, now you can cancel this g with g. You will get one. Okay. So 1 by 2k ln of 1 plus ku square by g. Okay. This is in the option. If you want, you can check the option. This is in the option. Okay. So let me check the option. So that option is in 